Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. alaikum. Welcome back to the second part of this video series. So in the last part we are done with the uh, installation of uh, all the packages that are related to the identity, uh, sp.net core identity. And we created a few roles by using the concept of data seeding in entity framework core. And uh, now we will be creating uh, an API that will be creating the user in uh, our application. So let's start the video. So what we have done with in the past previous video, you can have a look on this video. If you if you have not seen that video, you can go and watch this part one. So this will be a little bit easy for you to understand the next thing. So when I run the query, uh, you can have a look that these tables were created when we uh, done with the command update database after creating the migration. So these tables were automatically created by the uh, identity. So uh, when I run uh, execute the query of these for the two, these two tables, so you can have a look that uh, we created the few roles by using data seeding and that was the role was user admin and HR. Now we, uh, you can have a look that there is no uh, records for the users. In this video, we are going to register the user. So let's start, go flip to the Visual Studio now. And one very important thing before watching this video, if you are consistent to my channel, then please like this video and share and subscribe and share this channel with among your or the developer friends so we can grow our community. So right here in the controller, right click and click on the controller. We are going to add an API controller and we'll be selecting the empty controller. Let's click on that and make sure we are using the, uh, what we are using, we are .NET, using .NET 6 version. Let's rename it as authentication controller authenticate controller or authentication controller okay authentication controller nope. it's fine now let's add this controller okay so i have not been using this reference so it's giving me the error that to use remove unnecessary directive for now i'm removing it because i'm not using it right now let's make a constructor here ctor press double tap let's declare these three fields user management and user manager is coming from the asp.net core identity you can have a look that the reference is being added here and now have to inject it's a very simple thing in ASP. let's copy paste remove this underscore add a comma copy paste it here let's move it to the next line for better readability and remove this underscore and add a comma copy and paste. Okay, it's very easy here. And let's then initialize is equals to user manager tap. Oops. User manager underscore role manager tap. It's fine. Underscore. So we are done with this. Now I'm going to create an action. Let's press the tab, but we are not required the get method. We are required with the post. And let's make, okay. This is the method to register the user and let's check in the authentication folder what was the user's user register user was the name okay let's come back and add the reference for here register user 
register user and add this form body here now you will be providing the information in this user register what is present in the user, user register it is present username you will be providing the username email and password okay first of all what we will be going we will be checking the user we are interning for registering is present already in the database or not so the step number one check user exist if it's exist written with an error okay if just okay the visual studio is pretty good now it's giving me intelligence if user register is null and then we will be adding oh, sorry first we will check if let's remove this we will be writing the code later let's add the pseudo code here if user does not exist add the user in the database okay and then what we are going to do assign a role that you want in the code okay for now i will be assigning him register let's name it as register admin okay or any uh, we have an option we can pass you know a dynamic way mm. let's add string or you can say no we had created a, i think a class now we have not created class role okay let's provide string role here and let's make it as so this method is journalized no. this sync is giving error uh, because we haven't used the no, await now for checking the user if the user is already exist the code okay let's declare a variable var user x exist equals to await underscore user manager dot find user find by uh, email or name you can do whatever you want so find by email so email should be unique okay and you can have a look just press the tab it's fine so it is returning what is returning me identity user if is not equal to null then we will throw an error return so we are returning the status code with the 403 and status will be error user already exist with the email. in case if user is not present in the database then we will be adding it here okay let me check why is it saying is twice that is why it's for giving the error user let's name it as just register okay, so the identifier was missing okay so what we need to do we need to bind this so oh, let's name it okay let's bind the model to the identity user and now we will be providing the parameter into this method user manager dot create async so these are built-in method to create the user uh, once the this what is returning us uh, returning the identity result okay once it is added
if result dot succeed then we are going to add it here mm, status 200 sorry 201 resource created successfully okay we are done otherwise if something went wrong let's copy and status okay. in the visual studio we can simplify to convert this so this makes your code more readable and easy you know it it, it converted the uh, code into the one line code so that's the beauty of the new visual studio now if you are willing to assign him in a role then there is a code to assign the role but we will be doing it in, uh, in the next video let's keep it simple and run this okay so this is the swagger so we have a role but right now we are not providing uh, any code for the role we will be doing it in the next video let's provide my name Salman and let's provide the email test at the rate user.com and there's a password a b c d e f g one two three four at the rate for the strong password and let's execute this it's giving me the 400 error that the rule feed is acquired okay let me provide it for now it's admin but it, it will not do anything because we haven't added any piece of code for the rule because it was the required field we didn't provide the null so you can have a look that user created successfully and uh, when I again submit this same thing it will be giving me an error that user already exists it's fine now let's flip to the visual studio and execute this command you can have a look that the new user has been created and the password is encrypted this is the password hash so and lockout enable is one so we can lock this you and uh, this user to the zero uh, so we will be seeing in all these topic in our upcoming video and as you can look that email confirm is zero that we can verify the account through the email and then we can it unlock for now we are done with this uh, i hope that video helps you in the better understanding if you like this video please like share and subscribe see you in the next video take care of office